I want to show you how to create a simple workflow in Dynamic CRM 4.0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple workflow that has two steps. I'm going to attach it to a lead record. So the first thing I want to do is go into my workflow area. If I go to settings down here, bring up my workflows, I'm going to add a new workflow. And I'm going to add the name here. And this is going to be for all leads that I receive off my website. So the entity is going to be a lead. This workflow will be attached to the lead. I'm going to create a blank workflow. And the scope of this is I'm going to assign it to the entire organization. It's going to be an automatic one. And the first step is to send out the email. So go down here, send an email, type in a description. I'm going to hit properties and this is going to allow me to set the properties on the email that goes out. And what I'm going to do is the from is going to be the owner of the lead record. I can go over to the form assistant here and select the owner. I'm going to add it to the box down here, hit OK. The two is going to be to the lead itself. Go back to the form assistant, select the lead, add it, OK. Add some text in here. Then I'm going to add some message in the email, some text to the message, and I'm done. I'm going to hit save and close. The next thing I want to do is add the second step, which is to set up a phone call to follow up on the email. I'm going to add a new phone call, so I'm going to create a record, and I'm going to create a phone call. And let's put a description right here. I want to set the properties on that particular phone call. So it's similar to what I did previously. The center is going to be the owner of the lead record. The recipients again going to be the lead. Let's add some description here. And then I'm going to put a due date here. I'm not going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is going to be due in two days from its creation. So what I can do is select from this menu up here in the form assistant. I'm going to have two days after the lead was created. Add that. Hit OK. You can see that value down here. So well, now I am done creating my workflow. So the next thing to do is to publish that workflow. So I'm going to publish it. So now it's published. We can look for it down here in our list. Here it is right here. Now let's put it into practice. Let's go into sales. Let's add a new lead and see if that workflow kicks off. So we're going to add a new lead. And let's just make up a person here. Put an email because that mess that message needs to go to an email address. All right, now this is a lead I just added to that. Now we can take a look at the workflows assigned to this lead, and we can see that workflow that we just created has been attached to this particular lead, and it's in progress, and it has succeeded. So let's take a look at the results. The first thing is we can go to history and we can see that email has gone off. Here's the email. It's been sent. It's part of the history record right now. Plus we created a task to do a phone call. We can go into open activities, open up that phone call. And you can see it's all ready to fill in and save that phone call. So this is a very simple workflow and the workflow engine in CRM can be used to do a number of different things. You can make it as easy or as complex as you'd like to. It's really quite easy to set those up. So if you haven't done it yet, why don't you take a, some time and set up some sample workflows in CRM.